Hey guys, I just want to show you how to read a chord chart because this is going to help you when you start to learn new chords. So we just talked about the key of A, which has the chords A, D, and E in it, okay? So what you've got is you've got this little box here. So this little box actually represents a guitar, okay? So this is what the guitar looks like when it's standing up, sitting there. And here's, we talked about that little nut right here. That's right here, right? So this is my first fret right here. This part section right here. This is my second fret. This is my third fret, okay? So this is where the frets are on the guitar. And this will help you when you like learn a new chord. And then these are the strings going this way. Remember we talked about the high E or the first string being here? And this is the low E on this side right here. We said Elvis, eight donuts going back east. Well, this is six, five, four, three, two, one. So these are the strings right here. Now, here's my Elvis, eight donuts going back east, right? So these are the strings. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put our numbers in here on where our fingers go on our left hand. If you're a right-handed guitar player, like most of us are. So your first finger goes right here on the second fret. What string is that on? Count from your right. One, two, three, four. So it's the fourth string, second fret. You put your first finger there. Then this one is going to be second fret. One, two, three, third string. And this one's going to be second string. Second fret. So one, two, three. That's how my A chord is shaped. And we just, if you look at my video, you can see where I put my fingers on there. And this is how you can read a chord chart. So you'll know from then on how it works. And you can pull up tons of these chord charts for all these different um, chords that we're going to be going over. The next one's D. You don't get the real pretty guitar and all that stuff on this. So D is one, two, and three. We talked about this being a triangle shaped chord is like this, right? What I mean by that is kind of a triangular shaped chord. All right. And then E, and then I'm going to put a little star here to identify where the root string is because here's my A string right here. And that little star represents the root of that chord because that's an A chord with an A string. So when you strum, you strum down that direction. Here's my D, Elvis 8 Donuts. So there's my root there, and then here is my root for the E. This is the D string. You strum this direction here, okay? If you strum up here on this low E, it's going to sound bad. That's why I put an X right there, okay? So you want to omit this string right here. Don't play that low E right there. All right, the E is just first fingers here, second fingers there, and third fingers there. You can play all six strings on this. And there you have it. A, D, and E, how to read a chord chart.